Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. That's a... Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shields. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Gonna get for you, little buddy. Toad, you terrible name. Okay. of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Oh, that's who the pink guy is. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyan! That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? And that's it for our... Professor Genki's mom, huh? I want to see what I can do with the mouse room. Oh, that gun is holding shots. 
Alright, let's break that out. Don't look that cool, we can give a choice. Food save. Let's take something that flies. Sure thing. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm sure. How does this work? Well, I guess did the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kit. Picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. <laughs> I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. <laughs> when you're inside Matt's virtual chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand. Don't get killed. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that, guys. Oops. This looks cool. Kenzie, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. <laughs> Why the fuck are the giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. No, no clip. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I'll just have to deal with it. At least this ain't my first time in a top down tank. But Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 don't put it in space. Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. 
For what? Dad, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. I don't think it should be that easy for you. Oh, fuck off. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Well, this sentiment comes from more than just the Zid. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Keeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief cat. Yeah, Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... Oh, it's a quote from Macbeth. face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. <laughs> 